Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chef 2 with your favorite chef, Saul the Bull, aka Negro Face. Anyways, what we're doing today, we're gonna do shrimp quesadillas. Simple, real easy, nothing complicated. Once again, folks, what you need? Shrimp, cheese, and tortillas. So we have here, we got a famous brand right here, Guerrero. Folks, we gotta take traditional household tortillas. Nothing big. We also have some cheese, we got Monterey. Nothing big, cut it up small, folks. The smaller you cut it, the faster it melts. And then we got 5160s, 70 uh, shrimps. Once again, 5170s means 51 to 70 shrimp per pound. So that's what you do. Totally up to you how big you want them. Something like this, small quesadillas. I got the smallest shrimp possible. Completely over. So what you do, you come back, you follow me. You get a pan nice and hot, a little bit of oil in there. Get your shrimp, folks. Get them in there. That's what I'm talking about. You want your pan to be nice and hot. At this point, before you, you finish off, you want to season your food. A little salt. A little pepper. A little bit of some of this famous chile con limon seasoning that I use for everything. Again, that's from Latino culture. And without a doubt, man's best friend, my favorite seasoning, lemon pepper. Big fan of lemon pepper, so it's totally up to you what you want to carry. So do that, do that. All right, see at that point, take it off, get that nice and hot. These point, these, these shrimps are a little small, so it should take about a couple of minutes, nothing big. So you get those cooked. Uh, pretty much the way for you to find out if a, sh a shrimp is cooked, A, you want to make sure the color goes from gray to being pink. Not just that once the head meets the tail, that's pretty much a, a, a good sign letting you know that it's fully cooked. Or obviously, grab one and eat one. So, um, obviously you're in control in this situation, so, so you do that. Obviously, if you notice here, we're about 70% way. 70% of the way done with this, so we get this cooking. So obviously, what we're gonna do, folks, we're gonna pull the shrimp to the side, cover it up, keep them warm underneath our oven, and we're gonna get ready to get our station ready with our tortillas, our cheese, to melt them, and we're gonna build them, so stay tuned, and I'm gonna show you. Remember, we're starting with those shrimp quesadillas. We got that shrimp fully cooked, we set it aside, we got that nice seasoning, a little salt and pepper, a little bit of uh, uh, chili with limon, and a little bit of lemon pepper. And once again, folks, it doesn't have to just be shrimp. It can be shredded chicken. Uh, cooked sausage, uh, plank steak, cut it aside, it's totally up to you. Just make sure you chop it small enough so it goes in the quesadilla. So I think you start, get your pan nice and hot. So it's important you get your pan hot. You pull out your Guerrero tortillas. We're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to build two of them real quick. So what you do is you get your, your tortilla nice and hot on one side. It's real important, a lot of people don't cook tortillas on both sides when they make quesadillas. So what happens is like, you got a nice crispy side and on the other side is real soggy. And when it happens, it makes that all that moisture and it builds water in there. I'm a big fan of cooking both sides before I do. So I cook one side, flip them over. Once I got them on that side, folks, come in here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make half quesadillas. So just make sure you cheese one side of it. So you're gonna end up closing it, right? Big. Once again, you want your pan nice and hot. Get that cheese melted. Obviously, we cut the uh, we cut the cheese real small so it melts a lot faster. And then get your shrimp in there. Throw your shrimp in there. Obviously, it's totally up to you. Don't be shy. Now, really make sure you wash your hands if you're gonna use your hand as a tool. My my house, I use my hands. My rules. I run the ship. So once you got that going in there, folks, we're doing about five shrimp. I'm making mine spicy shrimp quesadilla. So. But I do, I like my favorite uh, shiratsa. I'm a big fan of shiratsa. I like mixing. I'm a fusion style chef, so I like mixing like Mexican with Asian or Italian with American. So at this point, this is if you want to add anything to the quesadilla, you add it at this point before you close it. So I just want a little bit of hot sauce in there. Nothing, nothing complicated. Once again, folks, these are quick, easy recipes. Something you could just get home after a good long day of work. Get it easy, you know, nothing complicated. Once we uh, get these videos out to these one-on-ones, we'll take everything to the next level, but for now, we're just taking little baby steps. So, obviously at this point, what you want to do is just close your quesadilla. You want to get that, get the cheese melted, get that cheese into the, the shrimp. All right, get your other one, close it up. All right, once you get that in there, close it. So obviously at this point now, what you're gonna do is just grab yourself a plate, folks. It's pretty easy. Quesadillas, nothing complicated. I just wanna show you that you just don't have to do your cheesy, typical, just cheese quesadilla. Cook your protein on the side, chicken, salmon, shrimp, whatever you wanna do. Then just obviously as we did, we laid it down. Layer your, uh, your quesadillas with any kind of protein. So at this point, after our cheese is melting, grab them. 
simple. There you have it, folks. Quick, easy shrimp quesadillas. Nothing big, nothing small. Once again, it's just quick, easy recipes that you could just come home from a long day of work and you can take care of business. But obviously, stay tuned with us. We're going to continue to do quick, easy recipes. So don't forget, life is good, so let's eat.